Samuel Paul Sammy Kershaw is an American country music artist. He has released ten studio albums, with three RIAA Platinum certifications and two Gold certifications among them. More than 25 singles have entered top 40 on the Billboard Hot Country Songs charts, including the number one hit She Don't Know She's Beautiful, and ten more top ten hits, Cadillac Style, Anywhere But Here, Haunted Heart, Queen of My Double Y Trailer, I Can't Reach Her Anymore, National Working Woman's Holiday, Third Rate Romance, Meant To Be, Vidalia, and Love Of My Life. Early Life and Career Sammy Kershaw was born in Kaplan in Acadiana in South Louisiana and is the third cousin of singer Doug Kershaw. When he was 11, his grandfather gave him his first guitar. But his father died that year, so Sammy had to work a variety of day jobs while playing roadhouses at night to support his family. He began performing in Acadiana with Louisiana legend J. Beeper. Subsequently, he opened shows for Ray Price, Merle Haggard and George Jones while barely into his teens. When the pressures of growing up fast took their toll in the form of a serious drug and alcohol problem, he quit his bad habits in 1988 and took a break from music to work as a remodeling supervisor at Walmart. Musical career, one of Kershaw's demonstration tapes made its way to Mercury Records, which released his debut album Don't Go Near the Water in 1991. This album was certified platinum by the RIAA, and it produced four hit singles. The lead off, Cadillac Style, went to number three in late 1991 early 1992, followed by the number 12 title track, Yard Sale at number 17, and finally Anywhere But Here at number 10. Kershaw was initially reluctant to release Cadillac Style, because he felt that it was not suitable for his style. However, his co producer, Buddy Cannon, convinced him to give the song a chance. Kershaw's often hunky-tonk material and singing voice led to critical comparisons to George Jones, and one of Jones's early singles, What Am I Worth, was covered on his debut as well. Kershaw's second album, Haunted Heart, followed in 1993. Its lead-off single, She Don't Know She's Beautiful, became his only number one hit in April of that year. Following it were the title track, the Dennis Line penned Queen of My Double Y trailer, and I Can't Reach Her Anymore, all of which hit the top ten as well. Although Kershaw had been told by others that radio audiences might not identify with the subject matter on Queen of My Double Y trailer, Kershaw had wanted to release the song because he had an experience similar to its storyline. Like his debut, Haunted Heart was also a platinum album. In mid-1994, Kershaw also covered the Lynyrd Skynyrd song I Know a Little on the tribute album Skynyrd Friends, which included country music covers of Lynyrd Skynyrd songs. Also in 1994, Kershaw contributed to the song Fire and Rain to the AIDS benefit album Red Hot Plus Country produced by the Red Hot Organization. Feeling Good Train was the title of Kershaw's third album, released later in 1994. This album also produced four more hits including two consecutive number two S in National Working Woman's Holiday, and third-rate romance, with the number 27 Southbound, and number 18 If You're Gonna Walk, I'm Gonna Crawl following in 1995. The album also included a duet with George Jones on Never Bit a Bullet Like This, which had previously been released from Jones's 1993 album High Tech Red Neck. Feeling Good Train, which was certified gold, was followed by a Christmas album Christmas Times A Comin' and his first Greatest Hits package, Greatest Hits, Volume 1, both in 1995. The latter produced a number 47 peaking single in Your Tattoo, the first single of his career not to reach top 40. Equals mid late 1990s equals, Kershaw's fourth studio album, The Gold Certified Politics, Religion and Her, was issued in 1996. It produced top ten hits in Meant to Be, and Vidalia, the latter of which Kershaw also considered a risky song, saying if radio will play this one more than just a euro so people can get the story and learn what a Vidalia onion ice a euro it'll be a smash. These songs were followed by Fit to be Tied Down, and the title track, both of which hit top 30. Also included on politics, religion and hell were covers of Chuck Berry's Memphis, Tennessee, and Sammy John's Chevy Van. The same year, 
Kershaw briefly took ownership of a NASCAR Busch Series team. Labor of Love was issued later in 1997 as his fifth album. Unlike his previous albums, this one was predominantly composed of ballads. It produced a number two in Love of My Life, and although none of the other three singles reached higher than number 22, the album was nonetheless certified platinum as well. His next album, Maybe Not Tonight, brought a top 20 duet with Laurie Morgan. Kershaw stated that he enjoyed working with Morgan on the song, telling Country Weekly magazine, I knew our vocals would match up a Euro plus, we have fun together. We're friends and we have been friends for a long time. Maybe Not Tonight was commercially less successful than its predecessors, however, and it became the first album of Kershaw's career not to achieve an RIAA certification. Following Maybe Not Tonight were the singles, When You Love Someone, and Me and Maxine, both of which peaked in the 30s. Louisiana Hot Sauce, the final release from Maybe Not Tonight, was also the first single of his career not to enter the charts. In 2000, Kershaw released an album of cover songs entitled Covers the Hits. This album comprised ten cover songs that Kershaw had recorded in his career. Some of the songs on it, such as the single Third Rate Romance, were previously found on Kershaw's studio albums, while others come from various tribute albums to which he had contributed. Covers the Hits also included a rendition of Dr. Hook's Little Bit More a previously unreleased cover which Kershaw had recorded during the sessions for Labor of Love. Equals 2000s equals, by 2001, Kershaw and Morgan had married. The two recorded a vocal duet album in 2001 entitled I Finally Found Someone. This album was even less successful commercially, with its only top 40 hit being the number 39 He Drinks Tequila. Shortly afterward, a second greatest hits package was released, and Kershaw left Mercury's roster. In 2003, Kershaw signed to Audium Entertainment to release the album I Want My Money Back. This album produced a number 33 peaking in its title track, but the second single fell short of the top 40. The third and final single, Beer, Bait and Ammo, was previously recorded and written by Kevin Fowler on his 2000 debut album of the same name and would later be recorded by Mark Kusnut on his 2004 album Save in the Hunky Tonk. After Audium closed its Nashville division, Kershaw signed to Category 5 Records, then a newly established independent label, in 2006. His first release for the label and first chart single in three years, Tennessee Girl, fell three spaces short of the top 40 that year. It was the first release from his 2006 album Hunky Tonk Boots. The album's only other single, a cover of Mel McDaniel's number one hit Baby's Got Her Blue Jeans On, failed to chart, and financial difficulties caused the label to close in 2007. In October of the same year, he divorced Morgan, citing irreconcilable differences. On June 13, 2007, Kershaw announced his candidacy for lieutenant governor of Louisiana in the October 20 jungle primary. The position was held by the incumbent Democrat. Mitch Landrieu. Kershaw also faced a second Republican candidate, State Representative Gary Beard of Baton Rouge, an engineer first elected to the State House in a 2001 special election. Kershaw finished second with 30% of the vote, but Landrieu won re election with a majority on the first ballot. In 2008, Sammy Kershaw was inducted into the Louisiana Music Hall of Fame in honor of his career achievements and was also inducted into the Louisiana Songwriters Association Hall of Fame in 2010. Kershaw's first single in two years, Real People, was released in late 2008 in the Boom Merville Big Hit label. However, the single failed to chart. His tenth studio album, Better Than I Used To Be, was released on August 31, 2010. Watching his state embroiled in the Gulf oil spill in April 2010, Kershaw, a Lafayette resident, became the official spokesperson for ProtectOurCoastline.org, a non-profit dedicated to providing relief to the fishermen and shrimpers affected most by the spill. On August 28, 2010, Kershaw announced his second bid for lieutenant governor in the October 2 special election to replace Mitch Landrieu, who left office in May after being elected mayor of New Orleans. 
Kershaw's intra-party rivals included State Republican Chair Roger F. Vier Jr. of Muteri, St. Tammany Parish President Kevin Davis of Slidell, and Secretary of State J. Darden of Baton Rouge. Kershaw polled 19% and carried 31 of the 64 parishes but ran third behind Arden and Democrat Caroline Fayard. Kershaw then endorsed fellow Republican Darden in the runoff election and joined Darden at campaign events, giving Darden a bear hug at Darden's victory celebration. In the 2011 race for lieutenant governor, Kershaw endorsed Darden's opponent, fellow Republican Billy Nungesser. Darden ultimately defeated Nungesser 53%-47%. Discography Studio albums, Don't Go Near the Water, Haunted Heart, Feeling Good Train, Politics, Religion and Her, Labor of Love, Maybe Not Tonight, I Finally Found Someone, I Want My Money Back, Hunky Tonk Boots, Better Than I Used to Be, Do You Know Me, A Tribute to George Jones One Won't Back Down. References External links, the official Sammy Kershaw website, NashvillePost.com Story on Bankruptcy Filing, February 2007, Sammy Kershaw Candidate Website.